Hey up viewer, it's Wheatley TV here at the Wheatley Oval with Wheatley taking on Farnsfield. It's James Peck off of the internet here and let's have a look at the teams. Uh, no Tom today, he's sunning himself in Barbados so Stu will be captaining the side and he's back. We've got Jono back and Henry's back as well. We're playing Farnsfield today who are always incredibly strong. They finished second I think in the last couple of years in the Basketball League and this will be a stern test. Do my eyes deceive me, Wheatley are batting first. We've got George Lewis facing, Cal Harrison at the other end and the familiar arching run of James Bowker for Farnsfield. Jolly Shepherd facing his first delivery. Oh, that was an inside edge, I think. It's going to go down for four runs. Now Cal has been given a freebie there. It's four. Oh, Cal. <laughs> Worked down by George for his first run. On the dips back in. There's a big appeal, and the umpire says no. Oh, drills that up, but it's well fielded in the middle. Good effort there. A <laughs> catching cover. Oh, that's George's shot. <laughs> Flicked away magnificently for four. That's edge, and it's taken its second slip. Brandon Parker in at three here. Oh, that is a ripper. That's a really good stop. He's not really got hold of that. Go gets two. Oh, how's that missed? Oh, back at him, it's well fielded. Speared in, nicely played by Cal. Cut nicely by Cal. It's gone out, let's see how fast this outfield is. Well, fast enough. Four. Edged and edged down this time. Cut down really nicely by Cal. That should go. Edge. There's no uh, fourth slip in, unfortunately, for Farnsfield. And that's Brendan's first boundary. Oh, that's a shot and a half from Brendan. Through the covers for four. Nicely played by Cal. It's edged, but a controlled one. That's gone for four. <laughs> oh, you can't bowl there to Cal. That's six. Wheatley's 50 up. We're only in the eighth over. Oh, and that's been clobbered. That's four more. Michael Archer, the Farnsfield Aussie overseas player. That's first change. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh Brandon. 
figure familiar to Wheatley TV viewers, Alex Anger coming on to bowl. And one <laughs> seems back in as per. Oh dear. So this one, and it's gone for four. Oh, it's gone straight through him and down for four buys. Four one. And it's gone through him, and that will run up the hill for four. 10 overs gone and a proliferation of boundaries means Wheatley are on 68 for 1, 50 stand up between Brendan and Cal. Oh, and he's bowled him. A tonic there for Farnsfield, huge appeal, first ball against Tongi and it's turned down by the umpire. He's through him and Cal goes, that's two in the over. Oh, what an over this is for Farnsfield. The two established batters are gone. And we've got Annie coming in to join Tongi. Oh no, Annie goes first ball, that's three in the over. Well, thank goodness that over's finished. Absolutely vintage Wheatley over that one. <laughs> Connor facing his first ball. It's in the air. But Time nicely, should just about make it to the boundary for four. It does. Oof, that is a ripper. Oh, that's a huge appeal, and he's been given. Who's next man in? Skippering the side today. It's, uh, out to the man at deep mid wicket. Four. One. Take a peel. Not out. Huge appeal again, and maybe just moving it a bit too much here, Alex. A short leg in here. And they don't need him. It's straight through him and Tongi goes. Well, that's five wickets for Arch. Brilliant bowling the moment he's come on. Jono in. And he slams it up to mid off. Oh, big appeal. <laughs> John is very tall, that's all I'll say. <laughs> Let's not get a run out, lads. <laughs> oh, John O's dragged on. That's two in the over. Wheatley, seven down. Cal facing his first ball. Oh, that's through Cal. That's number eight for Farnsfield. And this is one of the biggest turnarounds in innings I've seen for a while. So Wheatley have lost um, seven wickets, I think, for 13 runs now. Henry's the next victim, I mean batter in. Oh, that's 
close, but not out. To kill a plane, but they called Walter off. Yeah, but did you see Walter? That looks unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, that was an edge, I think. That's another edge. That was a much tougher chance. Drilled by Henry. That's found the fielder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the bat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely little. Oh, Henry's going to be. the leg cut there from Henry's for one. <laughs> well, that is uh, a classic eight shot. I'll be four. That's a really good hand there at Gully. We'll stop it going for four. And we stick to one. Lovely shot by Henry, all along the carpet, for four. Funky base. 100 up for Wheatley, 100 for eight. And Henry mashes another one. And that's gone for four. Skillful delivery by Alex, but Henry's, Henry's luck's in today. It's another four. And he demolishes the stumps, and Ainge finally gets H. I'll only be one. It's uh, an usually delicate little shot there from Tove. Gets him off the mark. We keep this on my desk, oh, but nice. it won't break. There's Tove. There's Tove. <laughs> <laughs> the tone we know and love. <laughs> there we go, it's gone up, but it's going to drop. And it's one. Oh, and that's through him, and Toby goes. Well, an absolutely brilliant turnaround from Farnsfield. We were 68 for one at one stage, 113 all out. Special mention to Michael Archer, who finishes with the quite staggering figures of seven overs, four maidens, six for ten. And I know speaking to a few of our batters who've come out said they've uh, rarely faced a more skillful bowler. I hope my filming has done him justice. Well, needless to say, a quick turnaround. Um, straight back out after a five or ten minute break. And Farnsfield need 114. Sean O'Alice, hoping the bowling for Wheatley. Punched out, straight to Connor, and they put pressure on him. Good run. Oh, that's edged down. It's well stopped by Tongi there. Oh, I missed it at the start, but... Um, the Basketball League is uh, paying tribute to three absolute titans of local cricket who we've lost recently. Jack Cowling of Blythe CC, Jim Garton from Hart Hill CC and Richie Gibbons from Blydith Colliery Welfare CC uh, made a huge impact over the decades in this league and they'll be sorely missed. We're opening with spin. Cal Harrison, the other end. 
tossed up and very nicely played the four. Oh, that's a brave leave. <laughs> Stops that with a size 13. <laughs> oh, that's Jono. Nicely played. That's four. Well, H is one of only two men on the uh, leg side. Chasing that out, and they're going to come back for three. Good running. Oh, that was uppish. Oh. oh, that's gone up. Uh, yeah, well, it's bad. <laughs> Taps to Toby. He's gone for a shite. Oh, it's gone through Tobe's dive. Should go for four, it does. That's sent up and over. And that's gone for four. for the magic ball there, Jono. Tove launches it back in and he prevents a second. Two is a cry almost immediately. It's gone perfectly in between Henry and Tove out there and they get those two. Edge down, stopped by Tongi it slip. And another edge, this time down to Connor and some overthrows there. Set up for one. That's good running once again by this Farnsfield opening pair. a big appeal. Not out. It's a rash shot, and that's Wheatley's first wicket. <laughs> Nicely worked, first ball out. Straight mid wicket. Oh, old is <laughs> down in boot corner there, and is coming back for three, and they get him. That's got to be close. Not out. Oh, don't you. Oh. <laughs> As you would have known by now, if you know Jimmy today, he's uh, required to score. And uh, John has just uh, given him a bit of a ticking off because he hasn't put one, uh, one wicket on the scoreboard yet. Nicely tapped out behind square, Connor Fields. Oh gosh, it's bounced through two players. Awkward bounces on both occasions to be fair to him. And it's one. Oh. That's in the air and it's just past George. Brendan Fields. And that'll be two. Oh, 
Oh, that's gone down the ground. That'll be four. Oh, he's given himself room and he's been bold. Huge appeal first ball and might just be turning too much. Well, spin seemed to work fairly well for Farnsfield to use a healthy dose of British understatement. So Stu is bringing on Tongi. Another immense but immensely unlucky spell for Jono. He must have broken a floor to ceiling mirror at some stage in the last year or two to get the luck he has. On the track, ping to Jono. Ooh, that's a brilliant hand by George. But a sting up. <laughs> swipe past Jono, and that's gone for four. Eleven overs gone in this Farnsfield reply. They are 43 for two. Gosh. <laughs> oh, it's in the air just past Carl. That should go for four. It does. Oh, I think that might have been a drop. A rarity for Stu. He's a gun. That's in the air over the top of Henry. And that's four. Chip straight to Henry. Oh. That's a good stop by George. That is rifled. Four. Oh dear, unconvincing shot. That's a tove, and that'll be one. Yeah, Freddie. That's gone for four. Straight to Carl and Wheatley get the third. Oh dear, so now it's I'll go for four, I think. It does. Oh, it's taking a chunk out of the pitch. And <laughs> that wouldn't have been it anyway. <laughs> That's <laughs> guided down, I think, <laughs> for four. 70 for three off 14 overs of Farnsfield after that flurry of boundaries. More off spin, top end in the form of Connor Maestro. You can't have enough off spin, I've said it a few times on this channel. That's gone straight up. And Cal takes it. Here we go. Oh, I used to get wickets with long hops as well. Love it. Oh, that was a teaser from Tongi. <laughs> Another one tossed up, Stu stumps him! Yeah, they're making hard work, aren't they? <laughs> they certainly are, Pete. <laughs> All the 
pressure here on Farnsfield, bizarrely. As Alex Angel comes out, if you're a long-term weekly watcher, you'll know the damage he can do. That's first ball. <laughs> So he feels it really well out here. They're going to try and come back for two, but the uh, throw is a bit awry. Oh gosh, that has been mullered. <laughs> Vintage Angel shot before. Fired in by Tongi. Better Tongi, better mate! Taken by Stu, and he's been given. What a match this is turning out to be. We're still an hour away from when team should have been after the first innings. <laughs> It is! I just looked in on the phone. We just used to be starting playing at this time, game. Oh, that's in the air and a gaggle of fielders. A ripper. Oh, that's Hesh and what an effort from Tongi. That would have been a worldie. Oh, it's in the air. Doesn't quite reach Connor at point. Oh, it's gone over Jono's head, and that's a six. That's got to be close, and that's our next ball. Oh, what's that missed? <laughs> Twenty overs gone in this bonkers match. Farnsfield, 83 for eight, and they've got to get 31. Shot down really nicely. Cal's gonna fire it back in, and they get two pretty comfortably. Connor's through him, that's nine down. Oh, that's edge just in front of Cal, first ball. Well, for the second weekend in a row, Tommy's searching for a Fifer. And he's got it, and Wheatley have pulled off the most remarkable victory. He has been. I can't believe it. <laughs> well, as the players shake hands, Wheatley had bowled absolutely brilliantly. The pressure was constantly on Farnsfield in the innings. And off spin's done it again, viewer. Another roller coaster here at the Wheatley Oval. Gosh, need to sit down after that. Oh, it's about tea time now. Anyway, <laughs> Cal's happy. <laughs> and so is uh, everyone else here, unless you're Farnsfield. We'll see you next week. All being well. All the best.